Sabi dun sa isang Facebook post, Spend money on experiences because it makes life rich by creating memories you can look back on. Char! Kaya naman, welcome to my third solo travel vlog. By the way, if you're new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe and click the notification bell. My name is Denver and I create travel videos. Ngayon lang ulit ako magta-travel uh, with an airplane since pandemic and it's surprising ang daming tao sa airport. Our flight was on time. Ayan, so very good ang Cebu Pacific ngayon. There. Uh, it took around 1 hour 15 minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes. Uh, mabilis lang. Hindi ko masyado maalala kasi nakatulog ako sa flight. Ayan. Anyway, uh, welcome to Davao International Airport. There. Actually, very meaningful tong trip na to because it's my first time in Mindanao. Eh, I've always wanted to visit Mindanao. Actually, nung 2020 pa dapat ito, pero, you know, pandemic happened. So, here we are now. Ayan, waiting for a taxi. And while waiting for the hotel check-in, since ang aga-aga kong dumating, I found a very nice cafe where I worked. sa street na walang mga wires. Ano yung makikita nyo dyan? Walang mga wires. So, yun. Ganda. Since nakita ko sa map na malapit lang ang People's Park, I walked going there but unfortunately it's being used as a vaccination site kaya uh, they do not allow tourists muna so hanggang dito lang tayo sa labas there. welcome to people's park in Davao City ayan siya, hanggang gate lang tayo and then ayan yung ano, Dorian and shape ng building is Dorian Nakikita kayo at ayun na Davao. While walking back to the hotel, nadaanan ko yung Ateneo de Davao University. In 2020, I got the opportunity to become a part-time online instructor. So, shout out to my former engineering and education students in Davao. Okay, so room tour tayo. Quick room tour lang. And sink. Ayan. And then, ano oh, meron dito? Nabaso. Tapos, ito yung CR. Ayan. It's okay. Ayan ako. Ayan. May hot and cold shower. Tapos, Ito yung, ano, <laughs> namit ko yan. Tapos, and good for two kasi siya, kaya dalawa. I have the entire room for myself. <laughs> Mag-rest muna ako and then, uh, mag-wash up, mag-freshen up. Tapos, lalabas ulit ako mamaya. Ayun. Punta ulit ako sa mall. May kukunin lang. Ayan. 
Well, traveling alone is not for everyone. But if you're looking for a sign to travel solo, then this is it. Go ahead and book that trip you've been planning to do by yourself. Galing ako sa mall to have my dinner and of course to check the place. And I decided to walk going back to the hotel. It's just about 10 to 15 minutes walk. So, tagabagyo naman tayo kaya sanay tayo sa lakaran. Walking on the streets of Davao alone at 7 p.m. Well, generally I felt safe. In fact, Davao City is one of the safest cities in the Philippines. So there. Parang naglalakad lang din ako sa Baguio. If, except of course the weather. But it's really not that hot compared to the other places I've been. Kaya okay lang din na naglakad ako. Ayan yung night market nila. Uh, buong Rojas Street. So, ang haba. Mas mahaba siya kaysa sa night market sa Baguio. As in doon. Hanggang sa dulo 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 doon. Tapos, ayan. Dito yung mga goods yata. Doon sa dulo yung mga pagkain. Ang habila. Ayan. Bicycle lane pala. Malapit lang nito yung ano. Ayan. Grabe. Daming tao. Ang saya. Yun na yung hotel ko. Tapos, ayan. Daming tao. <laughs> Medyo may amoy yung kanal. Pero, ayan. So, traveling solo to Davao City, yes, I highly recommend it because it's really, really safe. Yun lang matatest talaga ang Visaya skills mo. But overall, it's a really good experience. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated on our next videos. Once again, thank you for watching. Watch out for my next vlog. We're going to... Davao Crocodile Park. See you!